Hi guys, it's Ollie here from Instax HQ. On today's video, we're going to be talking about the Mini 90 Neo Classic. Now I know it's a bit of a mouthful and it's a bit of a tongue twister, but it is worth it. These babies have a lot to offer and they're the most advanced in our Mini range. It comes in a classic brown and a classic black. Now, who is this going to be for? It could be for someone that's shooting a wedding and they want to impress the bride and groom with some instant memories. It could be for someone going travelling that wants to use the rechargeable battery. Or it could be for someone that wants to be quite creative with the art settings it comes with. Either way, it is awesome. Let's take a look. So here we are. To turn it on, you're going to flick this switch here. To take a photo, you're going to press the shutter button just inside here. Now as you can see the flash has just gone off. The reason it's gone off is there is a sensor on the front of the lens. These sensors are very clever. They check if the flash should be on or off in a certain area and also automatically adjust your focus. It's really easy to use. Over here you've got the viewfinder and you've got your mode selector which is this rotatory dial here which I'm going to talk about a little bit more shortly. You've got the viewfinder, switch to open up the back compartment to replace the film the rechargeable lithium battery area, LCD screen telling you how many photos are left and which mode you're using currently, and the mode selection buttons. And let's talk about them a little bit more now. Starting with the buttons on the left, we've got macro mode. Now macro mode is if you're doing an up close shot of something, say a plant or an insect within 30 centimeters radius. Next along, we've got L. Now L stands for light, and D stands for dark, and that's if you feel that the photo should be slightly lighter or darker. Then we've got timer, uh, and that's if you're gonna take a photo, but you wanna be in it. Maybe you're with a group of friends, and you know your arms aren't long enough. So you put the camera on the side, push that button, and it will take a photo after a few seconds. If you push it twice, it's gonna take two photos consecutively. Next along, the flash button. Now, if you don't trust the automatic uh, flash to go off when you want it to, click that in and it will definitely go off. Now, with the modes at the top, as you can see, they're starting to flash that so I've clicked that. And how I'm changing the modes is I'm using the rotatory mode selection dial on the front. And if we start from the very right-hand side, first of all, we've got B. B stands for bulb exposure. Now, for those of you who don't know, bulb exposure is basically capturing light when it's moving fast. So if you're taking a picture of a train or if you've got a phone with an inbuilt uh, torch, you can actually create some really cool light trail shapes. Next along, we've got the two rectangles. The two rectangles is double exposure. If you want to be really artistic, what you can do is you can take two photos, one after each other, and it will morph the photo together and create some really cool areas. So check that one out. Next along, we've got the mountains. Now the mountains is landscape mode, if you're taking a photo three meters or more in distance. Then we have this child. Now this emoji of child may have had too many sweeties. Uh, he's actually there because it's telling you if you're taking a photo of something moving fast, such as a child or a car, then this will stabilize and make the photo more focused. And finally, We've got the picture of this couple, and this is for portrait shots. If you're taking a photo of someone at a wedding or an event and you want to be quite up close and personal, this is the one. And there we have it, the Instax Mini 90 Neo Classic. It's stylish, it's for someone that's creative, and for someone that wants to take their instant photography to the next level.